Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Wonderland, or rather Wonderland, and the key was provided by developer. However, the key was actually a bunch of keys for mm, the resources in the game, because the game is free to play, it has uh, microtransactions. Uh, let me just check the recording, because the game just crashed on me when I was trying to record it. Uh, I just hope it's gonna work. Yeah, it seems to work. So, when you start, you get this daily bonus. I'm just gonna take it. And, as you can see, I have a lot of gems. Gems are the specific um, resource that is very hard to get, and normally you have to pay for it. I got it because uh, I decided to try this game on my own, and because the company already... Um, gave me a couple of games for review, I decided to ask for all the mm, DLC resources packs, so all the upgrades for the game, which generally speaking give you this uh, specific resource, those gems. Let me just kill the music, because I want to comment. I actually played this for fun, because uh, I was just curious about this game. I played a couple of games from the same genre, this is uh, Hidden Object Games. They are usually free, not all of them, but this specific type of games uh, with microtransaction is free. Uh, I'm actually playing Twilight Town or something like that, and I did play and I did finish uh, Lost Lands. So I know the genre. Uh, it's the best to play it in short bursts uh, every day, a little bit, because you have something called energy, and doing stuff uh, depletes the energy, but it goes back with time. So you can just burn all the energy, switch off the game, and then keep playing when you want, when the energy is loaded. And it changes um, the amount of times you have to log in, because uh, if your energy loads in an hour, you would theoretically have to log in every hour and burn the energy. But if your entire energy loads 24 hours, you just have to log in once a day. So uh, once you progress, you will, generally speaking, log in less, and you will have less need for the gems to upgrade the energy. So, to a large extent, you can play those games completely for free. You don't have to speed it up, you don't have to pay to win if you don't want to. You can just play them in your own pace. I'm going to take those. This is, uh, gives us money, very little. As you can see, I have 80,000, but this is mostly f uh, due to those uh, DLC packs. And this is very uh, good thing, it gives you additional energy. So every 30 minutes you can grab additional energy from, from there. So you have a lots and lots of energy. Uh, I'm going to maybe go through the tabs and then I'm, I will just play a little bit, because I was kinda about to play anyway. Um, maybe I'm just uh, going to kill one of those skeletons. Alright, so you can find, for instance, a weapon, and those are the rewards you get. Uh, or you can pay for it. Let's say we try to find it. Okay, so the weapon is um, in the crypt, or might be, so I'm just going to do it once. And this is the core of the game. You have to find all those items in the game, uh, which are very hidden. This is the typical uh, hidden object game. So we are looking for a spring, we are looking for oil can, uh, something, oh, it's not that. Alright, uh, I'm gonna check. This is helmet, this is, uh, what is it? I'm looking for spider, but I don't, don't see it. There is a spider. Blotter is here. Bow is this bow. Cannonball. That's the cannonball. Gun mouse. I'm not looking for anything specific. I just tried to... Oh, yeah, that was pinecone. What is it? This is a fork. We don't have to find a fork. That's the that book. Uh, where is this? Oh, this is mouse. It's generally very hard to uh, find it. This is what? This is goblet. Shovel is there, very hidden. And, yeah, there's a hidden object, so that's the whole genre is about that. This is crown, and uh, yeah, we have fork, this is scroll, and we have gun somewhere. I don't see it, probably you do, because you can pause the video. Yeah, it's there, very hidden. Okay, I found it. You can also use specific items to help your, uh, yourself, to like uh, find a couple of items instantly, or find one item instantly. And then you go to this, uh, well, level of the scene, and uh, you can find other stuff. So we are gonna get some experience, some money, and other items. Yeah, we got some stuff. We didn't get the sword to kill the skeleton, but we find found something else. For this guy, we need sling. Where is the sling? The sling is the shipwreck, or might be in the shipwreck. So let's try again. 
here maybe. All right, now this is difficult because there is no light, so I'm gonna use the special power, right? Now I have light and I can look for stuff. So again, we have to find mm, a whole number of items. I'm just clicking what I remember roughly. I'm not even reading, I'm just trying to click through it. In this case, you don't get anything negative for clicking wildly. Sometimes you get a uh, a minus uh, timer or something like that, uh, but in this game you can just click away wherever you want, hoping that you find this specific item. I just remember this scene because I played it, so that's uh, why it looks easy, but it's not. Like, that somewhere is torch. I have no idea. I, I know how it looks. Sometimes you don't know how it looks. Also, uh, sometimes uh, something may not be the object, or for instance, uh, well, it can be a picture of an object or, or a sculpture of an object. So sometimes it's uh, really hard to figure out what they want. I'm gonna use it again. Okay, so where is the torch? I don't see it. Oh, there is the torch. Okay. So I used two of them. I'm gonna uh, run out. And the problem is with the game is that you might eventually need something badly and then you usually have to pay with those gems. So you might have a big problem. This is a merchant ship. All right, they want me to give this, but it drops there. It actually drops there, which I unlocked. I already unlocked the uh, the the uh, well the passage, so it unlocked more of the world. So they said that we can actually find it. We can actually find the this this thing that is used. Uh, all right, but we need also those to even enter here. We cannot because I don't have this. So as you can see, you can do it instantly, and then you're gonna burn in the rabbi. Right. The problem with the burning the rabbi is that it's expensive as hell. I'm gonna try to show you. Okay, as you can see, everything costs rabbis, right? Everything. If you want more energy, if you want uh, expand your energy bar, which is a very good item. Which, this is the most important item in the game, actually, because it in, in the long run it allows you to save money. You have to pay 52 rabbis, right? If you want, uh, let's say this, you can buy it for money, but um, other stuff again, rabbis. Here the same stuff, right? You, you want 50 torches, rabbis. You want those Amadis Rosari without looking for them, you can pay to win. Everywhere you have pay to win, which is very bad, generally speaking. I don't like it. But that's that's the genre. The whole genre usually works like that. They give you some stuff for free, like you can uh, you know play a bit, you can find some stuff easy, like the sword or sling. You can also grind some money, then just buy it. But if you, for instance, need... Uh, well, cave mouse, rabbi, and most stuff can be found, but it's just done in such a way that it's gonna take a lot of time. So you pay to skip the game, which is completely ridiculous, because I don't want to skip the game, I want to play the game, I want the game to last for as long as possible, I don't want to go through the game quickly and then the install, it's, this is completely ridiculous for me. So I completely don't understand this business model. It's quite prominent, especially on Steam. There is a lot of games like that, but for me it's very weird. Now, I got some of those for free. Uh, as you can see, they give different uh, stuff, different items, uh, some weapons to kill the enemies, some um, yeah, divine sides. Those are used in the hidden object part of the game. You also get uh, like potions and... Uh, what else? Time Frost, yeah, this is also the, the item used to um, help with the hidden object. Also some collections. Uh, everything can be just bought if you want to. However, the problem is that... Let me just find this. Oh yeah, here is the shop, right? So, you can buy money in the game for real money. And look at the prices. The prices are ridiculous. Like $100 for 150000 I have half of that. Right? Of course I got it for free, but anyway. So I have gold that's worth $50, and I have rabies worth $100. So if you want to have those resources, that you can to some extent get for free, if you get the, the key for those uh, packs, normally you would have to pay $150 just to have the resources. It's completely ridiculous. This is so expensive. And the cheapest stuff is $3, which is already too much. Right? The cheapest is three dollars. So, you have to measure how much you want to give the developer for playing the game if you want to reward them. If you want to say, okay, I'm having fun with this game, it's a long game, 
I'm playing it every day for like a year because it's gonna take a long time to finish everything and I like it, I like the gameplay, I say it's worth five dollars. Okay, so you can, well, well, you would have to spend six, right? Uh, you can buy, let's say, uh, two packs, right? So you would spend six dollars, get 50 rabies, well, that's not enough, but you can maybe grind two of them, uh, then you can uh, spend them here on this field flask, expand your energy, which means you'll have to um, log in less often and get more to play with, and stop there, right? You say, okay, this game is worth six dollars or three dollars or fifty dollars, whatever, that's how much I give them. Normally the game is free, you don't have to pay a, 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 at all, completely, but if you start paying, it can really escalate into very, very high numbers. I think this is ridiculously overpriced. Um, well, on the other hand, you, you can just give nothing. Uh, I would very much prefer if there were like lower amounts or something like any amount you want, so you could just pay them as much as you think and get something for it. Like, let's say I want to give exactly one dollar or five dollars, right? I should have an option because all of that is just tips for developer. And also, the problem is that this is pay to win. So your satisfaction, in my case, I wouldn't have any satisfaction, and I have lowered satisfaction for the game already because I got stuff for free. I have lowered satisfaction because I didn't get all that stuff. It's like I paid to win, and that's just completely ridiculous. Uh, so I don't understand. I mean, I kind of understand how it works. Uh, there is probably two groups of people who pay for games like that. One group of people just wants to tip the developer, which is absolutely okay, and they give as much as they can afford. Uh, you know, they can if they, are, if they are rich, they can give fifty dollars or a hundred. If they are not rich, they give like one dollar or three dollars. They stop there and they're like, okay, I tip them because that's a good game. I had fun with it. The other group is just probably kids who have no idea how much money is worth, and they just take like uh, their mom's credit card and they spend hundred dollars on rubies in a game. And it's completely ridiculous and it can get out of hand. So I'm very much against it. I think those games should be either paid, they should be like five dollars or less and just be paid with everything in them, uh, or they should be much cheaper. All that uh, resources, all the gold, gold is really ridiculous completely. Okay, uh, by the way, the game just crashed. I don't know why it's crashing second time. So I'm just gonna go back to game and uh, keep going. Let me just give it a second yeah i don't know why it crashes it didn't crash before now it does let me just see what's going on with that um yeah it's still running even though it's not give me a second why is it running if it's not running it's broken okay now it's synchronizing yeah we'll have a crash on the movie Okay, again. I don't know why, maybe it's because of the recording, or maybe it has some problem with the RAM, because normally when I play it, I play it... Uh, how much I played it? Let's see. Uh, let's see the timer. I'm trying to see the timer. Yeah, it's gonna be a longer video, sadly. But I just wanna cover everything. Yeah, we should be seeing everything. I don't see the timer. Okay, I played... 13 hours, guys. I played 13 hours of it, so I did play it, actually. Probably had it also just idling, because I wanted the stuff, right, like gold. But I actually played it for quite a long time, so... Um, yeah, it, it's definitely playable, right? You also have the section where uh, you go to those places and you have stuff to do. You have to, like, um, go here, and there is some sort of secret, right? The se secret says... Oh, we need this. We need something, right? We need something here. It's of course not shown, but generally speaking, you have to do uh, specific stuff, specific places to unlock um, items. Let's see if there's any item. Like here, there's nothing. Let me just check all of them. Uh, where do we have something we might need for the quest? Because the quest slowly progress the game. Oh. Here is this, right? We need this thing. I can't click it. Oh, yeah, I can. All right, we need this holiday cake for collection, apparently, for some quest. So, if we do this section, we might get this item, which might progress. Generally speaking, it's about repeating all those sections multiple times to push the game forward, to just reach some sort of progression, eventually finish. 
Um, let's see the new stuff. Uh, is there anything in the temple? N well, nothing really. Is there? Oh, by the way, I'm gonna kill this guy probably. Oh, I don't have the mouse. All right, of course I can do it. And I'm definitely not paying, even though I have a thousand. Uh, for that, I need 18 levels. I don't have. It. <coughs> I don't have it. So what can I do else? You know what? I'm gonna try to do this just one more, and then I'm, I'm gonna show just the tabs of the game. Uh, what else is there and we'll uh, finish. So yeah, it crashes now for some reason. I don't know why. Normally it doesn't crash, so it might be something with my computer, but it's... Well, it's apparently not very stable now, but in those 13 hours I didn't have any problems. Uh, I don't know what's causing it. Might be RAM because I have one game running in the background, so... But I don't think so, really. To be honest, I have no idea. It, it runs quickly, by the way. It runs very quickly. So uh, I have no idea if this is the, the, the RAM problem or is this because I'm recording in OBS or any other problem. Normally, it just works properly, right? We got something. We didn't get what I wanted, but we get something, right? All that stuff. Yeah, we got those. Uh, well, this jewelry piece, and we need for something. Is it for the temple? Yeah. Now we can do the temple, right? So it goes. Oh yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna use uh, hand of God. It's gonna take to find everything. I have, I have no idea where it's what. Okay, we did that actually. Uh, we did disciple. We got some stuff. That's nice. We got this wheel. Let's see if we can send the ship. Yeah. So now you pack those and you get those two items if you send the ship, right? Okay. So you are slowly, slowly progressing with different stuff, right? Mm, can I kill something else, maybe? Like those guys are probably impossible. Oh, I can actually do it. All right. I like to do them because they give a lot of experience quickly. It doesn't even cost any energy. You can also pay with gems for more loot. Again, you would be spending gems like crazy. And then you will run out and you will have to pay and get more. Or you can slowly grind them. You get them for, let's say, uh, those here um, achievements. If you do achievements, you get some gems, not so many. But I'm not sure if you can actually grind gems. I'm not sure if there is a way to get them regularly. You can get some amount and then you have to pay. So probably you will run out. The, yeah, yeah, as I said before, the smartest way to spend it is always on this. Because eventually your uh, energy bar will be very long. And uh, you will just log in once a day, burn the energy. As you can see, I'm already playing like 15 minutes. And I have more than enough energy. So there's no need to pay. And of course, I already used some of the resources that I got for free, and I bought it because I guess you start with a hundred or something like that. So I bought it to just uh, make it more fluent. But at some point, there's just no point to pay. Uh, this is tournament where you get uh, some quest. What is it? Oh, it's drive away Turks. Right? How do you find them? That's a Turk. What do I need? Uh, I just need the money. So we can just do one. Maybe we get some reward later on. I spent some money, which is not so bad because money can be just farmed. You get money for most of the areas. Maybe. Is this a Turk? No, it's a cursed skeleton. Yeah, I don't want to just burn all my money. I'm kind of trying to finish this game as well. Alright, so I'm gonna move to this, uh, those tabs. Okay, so this is, everything is uh, mostly for gems and the rest is for gold. Uh, gold can be farmed, uh, gems not so much. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. Ah, it's a ruby dragon that gives you one ruby every three days. So this is the cheapest stuff probably. This is the stuff for one dollar and you will be slowly grinding rubies, very slowly. Like in a year you would get 120. So you would only upgrade uh, 40 energy after a year, which is ridiculous. Uh, what is this stuff? Uh, yeah, special offers, right? Forever 25% more, but $10, right? You could have uh, two games for that. It's just ridiculous. Uh, what is this? Um, those are collections, which are quite okay. You get rewards for them, and you can, if you have all the parts, you can use it. Like, I can't use this one because, of course, I could pay for it again with rubies, but I can also find it, right? It's there. This guy can drop it. Let's kill him, right? Do we get it? Probably not. Yeah, of course we don't. Right. Can we do it? No, we don't have it, right? So then I just spend money. And if you play the, in the wrong way, if you just overspend, you'll be like, oh, I have no money, I have to buy money. Then again, you spend tons of real life dollars for that. So this is just ridiculously expensive. Mm, right, so what is there? Mm, that's just my inventory. 
inventarium, uh, whatever. Okay, so I have some stuff, right? I just got some stuff. I don't have to buy it because I have it. I have I have like shields. I don't have the swords, but I have shields. So some stuff you have, right? I could do this, increase the timer, completely stop timer. Uh, I have some stuff needed to do in other, uh, well, sections of the game. Chests, usually you, I think you get them for the DLC. Those are the chests. I just opened all of them already because I was testing what's in there. Yeah, here you can add friends, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to find anyone because I don't know. I just have one friend. You can send them wishes, but I guess it costs. Does it cost something? Eh, maybe not. Yeah, this is a wish, actually. I could open this again with gems. So it costs some money. Yeah, you can probably send some stuff to people. Maybe they don't want anything. Hard to say how it works. Uh, there should be some way to get uh, friends just uh, given to you, like just accept random people, because otherwise it's hard to really uh, make a big group uh, of friends. Uh, it's usually common in those games that you can add uh, friends and ask for like a little bit of energy on something like that, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. And it's just you know, I just have one random guy that was somewhere, and that's it. You know, I have no idea how I'm supposed to find anybody. There's no request, of course, so I cannot push it further. But it's not necessary. And yeah, that is just the um, achievement that gives you some free uh, gems. So, can I recommend the game? Um, I can recommend it as a time killer if you like this sort of genre, if you like the slow progression and the hidden object mechanic and generally the whole grinding uh, for all kinds of different resources. It's, it's rather satisfying. I actually completely finished uh, Lost Lands without spending a penny and without getting anything for free. It took me a few months, I guess, but I finished the game. I also played Twilight Town, also I don't pay anything. In this case, I just got those uh, packs, those um, chests, and with the chest there was usually some um, gems involved, so generally speaking, by buying those chests you can get gems, and uh, as I said before, uh, gems get you more energy, which means more playing time without waiting or paying, so it would be a good investment if you were to spend any money, but you have to really rethink it. Do you think that the developer made a good job and you want to tip them? If so, well, give them as much as you, as, as you see fit. You might just buy the dragon for a dollar and be like, okay, that's enough, right? Or you can maybe buy 25 gems additionally because you want to tip them more and give them like five dollars total. But I would really stop there. I don't think it's worth more. And of course, you can enjoy the game for free completely. No problem with that. Uh, it's actually quite a good developer. They have uh, some other games. You can check them in their, well, Steam page. Aside from this free one, uh, Wonderland game, there's other games. I got some of those games. I also covered them on my channel. So overall, they do quite a lot. Uh, pretty good uh, games in their own genre, in their own niche. So this is a good game in this niche. If you like any of those games, you might like any other because they are very similar. Uh, from those three games I played, I like all of them. Just I never spend money on them. I just think it's ridiculous and it's very overpriced. But the game itself is okay. If you want to just spend some time while something other cooks on your computer when you're downloading something, for instance, you just want to burn your energy and play for half an hour, no problem. This is a great uh, idea to do it. But uh, whether or not you want to spend actual money on it, especially in those, you know, ridiculous prices, that's up to you. You know, you want to do it, I won't stop you, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would say, you know, if you have a hundred dollars lying around, you should really buy a real game. You should really buy, like, I don't know, Kingdom Come Deliverance or Dark Souls 3 or anything you like, just a big triple uh, A title instead of pushing all that money into free games, because that's, in my opinion, that's just, that's just ridiculous, that's counterproductive. Unless you're super rich and you can just afford anything, then sure, you can tip people around, you can give them money because they did some job. Of course, they did some job on that. I'm not saying they didn't. That's, it's a good game uh, for a hidden um, object genre. There is a lot of content, and it's nice and colorful, and it's satisfying, clearly. But you have to just uh, measure how much you want to really, really pay for that. Uh, now, can I recommend any of the um, DLCs or chests? Um, it all boils down to this, right? You want those. 
you really only want those. You really only want to have 52 gems and buy another new fields flask. That's it. That's it. That's the whole real progression in the game. Because if you start spending on everything else, you're just gonna run out very quickly. This is the best investment. So every time you can get another of those, every time you can get another 52 gems, you can consider any purchase sensible, right? So if I was to uh, spend here, I would either buy the most expensive one and just boost it, you know, to hell and beyond, or I would just get enough, right? If I have 27, I would get this and have 52, and then I would upgrade and stop there, right? That's the only thing that really counts. Everything else is pretty much a cash grab. You will spend on like, uh, what can you spend on? Let's say you spend on this. Now you will need it again because those are needed for something, right? You have 10. Uh, I'm not sure where they are needed. Let me check. I think they need here, right? Uh, oh, not here. Uh, can I find one? What do we need here? Uh, this is future update. Uh, maybe it's Pierre? No, I don't think so. It's Pierre. Is there any other with uh, some item? No. Oh yeah, for, no. For this, you don't need anything. All right. So windmill. Let's let's go with windmill. You need this, right? Can I click it? No. Uh, let's see if you can get it somehow. Maybe uh, maybe like this. Can we go there? Oh, we don't have it, right? Uh, let me see. Sack of grain. Where is it? Where can we find it? Where where can I find it here? Sack of grain. Is it anywhere? Yeah, sack of grain, right? So you would spend your money on those. Let's say you buy 50, and you can do it 12 times, right? So you do the windmill 12 times, you have spent your money, and you run out. It's over. You can't do anything. Now, if you boost instead your energy bar, you can look for it, right? You can just go, uh, let me just click it, search. Okay, you can find it here, right? And you can just keep doing it with your energy until you find it for free. So this is much better option than just buy it, skip the content, you know, buy to win and be like oh i just spent another 50 gems or something and now don't have any gems left i have to spend again and then you will spend hundreds and hundreds of, of dollars on this game and that's just something i cannot recommend so uh, there is a lot of problems with business model so you can just play it for free that's one option or you can tip the developer by giving as much as you want uh, as much as for all the dlc chests uh, which are just uh, packs of some items usually with additional gold and gems i would only focus on, on gems and all, always get 52 or more or well um, 50 ta two times something right so you want 52 or you want 104 or you want 156 everything that gives you another upgrade for your energy bar makes sense everything else doesn't everything else can be just found in the game no problem you only really need energy and not just temporary uh, fields of energy, you actually want uh, the maximum energy. Uh, and pretty much every game like that works similar. If you can upgrade uh, your energy bar, you just play for free. And if you want to speed it up, you can with money. If you want to do it slowly, just by leveling up, just by uh, grinding gems whenever possible, maybe getting less upgrades, maybe logging in more often, then you can do, the, do it this way. So you can play it for free, you can, you can pay to win, it's up to you. Uh, can I recommend the game? 8 out of 10, clearly. This is a very good game in this genre, in this uh, specific version of hidden object uh, game, because there are other hidden object games, of course. Uh, nice graphics, lots of content, uh, takes a lot of time to finish. Uh, yes, I can recommend it, if you know what you're buying. So you have to check um, hidden objects genre. You have to check the games exactly like this one. So all the free uh, hidden object games on Steam with microtransactions. Compare them and you will probably get to the same uh, conclusion as I did. That they are very similar. You can just play any of them if you want to pass time. They are fun to play if you like this genre. Because if you don't, of course, you won't find anything else here. It's just that. Uh, I also wanted to add that it helps with language. Uh, if you do all those uh, sections and objects are named, then you can learn a lot of words this way. So this is good for kids. Uh, yeah, so it's not a bad genre. It also allows you to work on your focus, on finding specific objects. Um, well, 
somewhere they're hidden so it probably helps in, with some brain development i would say it, it does probably it does it's one of the skills that many gamers have just differentiating an item from the environment this is what uh, many gamers are good at and it might help in real life as well it's one of those skills that, that just comes naturally it's, it's easier for a gamer to just find uh, the odd one out like something oh this one i did, don't have right it's usually when you play rpg games you find something new in your equipment you're in instantly like oh i don't have that what is it and you're curious about it you instantly notice that so this is useful for some jobs in, in life like if you are a cameraman or if you do photography or something it's good to just find a detail uh, so for that it helps for language it helps I'm an English teacher so I can say yes of course if you have kids if you want them to learn another language if the game is in that language it's gonna definitely help you because you have pictures with the name and instant feedback that yes that's that's the item that's the frog that's the lizard that's the crown and so on you learn some words this way just by playing so positively uh, as a game positive uh, review 8 out of 10 uh, as a business model, horrible. One of the worst, super overpriced. Uh, yes, I do respect the fact they made a game and I understand that you may want to tip them. If I had excess money, I would myself, but I don't. I just, I'm just a poor guy. If I spend money on games, I buy just uh, some game I really want. Like I, right now, I'm trying to buy a Hollow Knight and uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. If I had any money, I would buy those. I wouldn't give uh, tips to people who make free games, even though I know they deserve it. But I just have other priorities. Um, can I recommend DLC? Uh, they're quite expensive. And only if you consider getting uh, more gems cheaper. Because you can always buy gems here, right? You can always just buy them here. If you really desperately need more gems, you can buy them here. Uh, if the chests are cheaper, then yes, then it would be better to, you just have to check all the prices, right? Uh, I just got that for free, you have to check on Steam or anywhere else where you buy it. I'm not even sure where you buy the DLC, probably on Steam. So you just have to compare the price of the chest and see how many uh, gems you can get, compare it with this. And if it's cheaper, you can get the chest instead and get additional items. But those items can be just found in the game. They are not very unique. You can just find anything if you play a lot. So no problem. Uh, as I said, I finished one of those games completely on my own without paying. So you don't have to. Uh, it's just to basically upgrade the energy bar and to help developer if you choose to do so. And now, the game generally doesn't crash. I know it crashed twice today, but I don't know why. I don't think it was patched lately. Before it worked correctly for 13 hours, so no problem with that. I just don't have problem with those games. But yes, as you can see, it can crash. Um, is it generally the game I like playing? In, only as a time killer. In, in between of other things, you know. It, I wouldn't invest in it. I wouldn't buy it if it was a paid product. Just because I have other priorities. But it's pleasant. It's pleasant. It's good for kids. It's satisfying. It gives you long-term progression. You can log in every day, burn your energy and be absolutely happy with this for free. You can also check other games of the studio because they have quite uh, okay games, especially if they are on sale. So, yeah, I can recommend it. Uh, definitely check it for free, no problem with that. And then you can make your own decision about it. Um, so, I guess that would be it. Uh, I will cover in the description probably all of those, um, or rather in tags, I will just cover all the... Uh, chest that I got, they probably have different hashtags, it's quite complicated because normally I don't do free games in this case I just wanted to help the developer a bit because they entrusted me other games of theirs, quite a lot of them I covered some of them already so I decided, okay, I'm gonna, out of curiosity, get this game also because it was free, I checked it, I was like, okay this is a fun game, I just asked them on Keymailer for the additional resources and they actually gave it to me so because they gave me free resources, I decided to show you the game, which is free, which I normally don't do. Uh, but yes, it's, uh, I decided to actually do a review. It's, it's quite an okay game. It's fun to play. So uh, even though I wouldn't personally buy that, definitely, uh, I like the gameplay. So I'm going to also cover all those um, chests, hashtags in the, uh, well, in the keywords on, on YouTube. 
because that's what I have to do to just cover it as a key mailer content. And yeah, it's just in a general a review of free games that I didn't really get a key for it. I just got a key for the additional resources for the pay to win part, which is very strange and in my opinion counterproductive. But yeah, I got it, I tested it, I checked it. Uh, you don't really get anything additional to the game. You just get faster progression. It's, you know, the, the DLC is a bad name for that. I, I'm not even sure if it's called DLC, but those are just uh, gem packs with other stuff that's generally free anyway. Just the, the fact that you just get more gems and more energy, that, that speeds up the game, speeds up the progress, which I wouldn't speed up a progress in a game. I, I don't see the point. I want the game to be as long as possible. So for me, it's useless, but... As I said, if you want to help them out, you can buy some of that. If not, I would absolutely understand you. I'm personally not buying them at all. But the game is good. The game is 8 out of 10, definitely, in its genre. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry for the crashes, but that's not my fault. At least, well, I don't know. Maybe I have something wrongly done on my computer, but generally, most games don't crash. So, this one, they did. It did crash twice. Um, so, sorry for that. And that will be it for the review. So, there was Wonderland. Uh, nice studio, nice developer, and the game itself is 8 out of 10, and the recommendation especially, <coughs> because it's free. So, see you in the next review.